Welcome back to Fate Stain, Eight Excel, the Umbral Star for Vita and also PS4. Both versions are essentially the same. Kind of. Continue. Chapter 4 Not for Destruction or Conquest. Now I'll be on the Stormy Sea Palace. Next stop will be Altura's territory. So how would the room work now? Nearest one room. Oh, oh. That's a town, though. isn't bad at all. I imagine something vulgar, tacky, gold, crusted palace. But the film is quite lovely indeed. Of course, I'm not afraid to come to proceed upon our generals. So I put aside my own dignified taste and model in my creator's image. Oh, very sweet of you, Tom. Nero. Capital had its own grace, but it can never compare to the burns and beauty of Rome. General environment of human civilization. Bonnie, um, keep burning your mouth, Miss Saber. Ancient Roman Empire has long since come to the dust. The only thing left in that the end of the stand in the history books. I made this so fast call with laughter at your brazen claim that room is eternal. Well, it's very on how you look at it. Traces of Rome and its culture are still on the face of the earth, if only barely. Chasta, what matter of nonsense leaves your lips? And the words left thrust by my defying ancestor, Romulus. It was indeed eternal. Romulus? Oh, that old meat brain. Hmm. Well, I could certainly see him making such a ghost, but I don't suppose there is any literature in the chapter of that. Uh, under those words. Hmm. Isn't that an important name in Roman from his history? Origin story, I think. That's exactly right. Hey, I got it right. I saw the pride, my brother. Should I have the full confidence in your knowledge of history? Thank you, Nero. Stubber Mar is a god of war. The boar, he bore the blood of Prince Aeneas of Troy, a divine ancestor. He returned to the seat of the Roman Empire. There's a god amongst men whose name is renowned for Mediterranean. No one his name. The great Romulus. Lord of our flourishing empire. All splendorous magnificence. Uh, I'm trying to loot the speed of your relationship. I have another question, Miss Saber. What would that be, Tamo? I'd be curious about what you said just now. You're going to tell me that you've met him. The violence is around most of yours. May, well, let me guess, what if she has? Don't be so foolish. Of course I have met my divine ancestor. Called it. Are you telling me that meet the ham? I mean, Robles has ascended as a top servant? Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Nah. It's a matter of lineage. All the emperors of Rome are child children of my divine ancestor. And so we've all met him in the four corners of our dreams. Wait. Dreams? That makes perfect sense to no one. Well, then, what now? Did you bring us here just so you could find out Rome? 
No. The only reason I followed you here is so I wouldn't have to sleep alone on a cold moonless night. My reasoning should be self evident. I brought you along because this is where my preacher lives, and you are one of the servants of my, my preacher. I could not very well abandon you in that flowering capital. You needn't become a con consort. You should at least move your base here. Yeah. That, this is at least the uh, least I could do to fulfill my duty. What's that now? You're whispering all of a sudden, and <laughs> knowing to me. Anyway, we'll decide which of us has our house and our husband to live in after this battle is over. These Roman territories are the perfect point on which to plan our attack on the Emperor's star. Both easy to defeat and difficult to besiege. My generation have already gathered here. How are you all, my dear Emperor? No one, my praise her. Comments! The current rise of the Roman Conference. Great Roman Conference? Okay, now we gather the servants, the generals of Nero and the generals of Tano. Three. There's total of seven generals now. It's nearly it leaves me breathless. We don't often see so many servants that we gather in one place. It is kind of fascinating. All the heroic spirits belonging to both Saber and Caster's armies are gathered here. It's a huge difference with a total of nine servants tending. Yeah. That's right. Also prepare for the battle ahead. Even though we managed to converse with the other side briefly, I wouldn't really call what happened a success. Yeah. We have to prepare ourselves to fight Altera as well as the force of destruction she leads. Their side is likely to have top servants as well. So that girl says, those guys have already fired their invasion this year with a huge army to boot. Why is the word true, Lancer? Maybe programs, right? To put it a bit of a note of it, right? The grunts we've been doing with up to now. For the sake of simplicity, and to differentiate them with things that Ambassador is as controlling. We will henceforth call them the Umbral enemies. Oh, isn't that literal? Well, it's easy to remember at least. Oh, and I should warn you about one thing. The moment I handed over the mount to the guy to you, I didn't want him to produce a tactical rant. Keep that in mind. The ring won't matter, make them appear anymore. Oh, so Tomlo can't summon any more tactical rants. Ouch. Well, that was bound to happen when you handed over the Regalia. Indeed, I am aware. It is unfortunate that the Regalia was only originally made to adjust the environmental balance to pseudo spiritual and being seraphim. Seraph. It is unwise to endlessly create type forms that concern the aftermath. From this day, we will use only the force we have already have. Oh, now we don't need to rely on Fox Lady's grunts. Any of us could take care of those things. Now the real pain is gonna be... I'm not surprised you're on this so quickly, Lancer. From the, from the way you're speaking, it sounds like you've already done your fair share of count scouting. Wait a sec, does that mean that this Umbral forces, Umbral forces are already active in Seraphim? Yep. I checked them out with the Sassanir. In my rooms in this weird school of black sight, sound, and heat. Recon with a cinch. If they were in our territories, we could use the throne to get some more details on them. But, just a luck. I hope that ain't gonna happen. So the enemies have taken complete control of the territories they have invaded. Kinda. Here's okay. the point. You're well shown skill and martial strategy. But the other side is even more formidable. Their conquests are impressive to behold. Altera, was it? 
It seems as though the Ember Star has other certain things to draw besides her. Isn't that right, Lancer? You were able to say that they would cause trouble for us? Yes, they would and will. Those guys are now amongst warriors. I mean, so I don't say this lightly, but we don't have much of a chance of being with head on. So, yeah. Maybe signing our own graves if we can up against them now. Set us straight out deadly serious. I've never seen him so, never heard him so intense and so forceful. Chu Chan is a servant who's been through hundreds of battles, even if I haven't fought with him as an ally yet, or for very long. And the side story of his life. I can tell how powerful he really is. Yeah. At least from the original Fate Stand Night. I admit that expression on his face and the tone of his voice. I know exactly what he means. How are the top servants? I know of their existence throughout the record that was sent back in time. These heroic spirits were handpicked by the moon cell for their exemplary strength. Mm. Ryder Iskander, Rule Jean Dark Ruler, and Gilgamesh Archer. These heroes, amongst heroes, are known throughout the world for their famed exploits. These champions are some of the special classes separate from the seven standard classes. Talking about her top servants. That's right, nameless. Huh? Well, that's a surprise now. I managed Shadow's information in this new Seraph. Indeed, he does. According to my sources, the servants of Lancer saw are top servants without any doubts. And they're even elite by that standard. They are easily empowered kind in terms of military strength. And there are at least two of them. Two. I was supposed to be before Gilgamesh comes into play. I thought there were three. Not only they exist only to protect the moon so There was someone to serve from Kanda Star. Who were unable to resist its corrupting influence. Yeah, oh yeah, not counting Gilgamesh, because he's only a temporary asset. They are currently saving invasions on our territory from their home base in the Zero Dark. Now we can turn off the 80% of Tamil's former territories. That's how we the Roman territories, which is us. We don't have time to sit idly by when they to make the preparations. I wasn't aware they had so much momentum. That's impressive. They've started altering the shape of the territories they've conquered. I call the new domain the ancient shrine area for now. Ancient Shrine Area, not a bad name. 80%. I think it's strong indeed. Something else. The gate that leads their home base in the zoo. Must have an entrance in that same area. They wouldn't know we need a, a base at all. It's a full of to destroy everything. But the very fact that they have made a base means they have something to protect. Otherwise, I can't deny the purpose it would serve. Yeah, I think you're onto something. But with the studio, first we don't see them at all, and now they're spying on us from our own backyard. They look quite suspicious. I understand the situation thanks to Archer. The Umbral forces are invading at an astounding pace. This is a different situation, a different outcome that was once uh, than what was stated in the body records, body records. Now that I think about it, there were some discrepancies in the record about how Ultra and Saber met too. I'll have to pay more attention from now on. The record isn't always going to match up with the future that unfolds in front of us. True, true. Of course, it's possible that they're overlapped. And we should use whatever information we have and not have it. The fact that the future can change gives me a new sense of hope. That ending, if we can stop all of Archimedes' plot, she won't die. Well, we can save all to it. It's not an unreasonable thing that it's possible, assuming that the record of the future is in some stone. Let's hope it's not. Apologies, Archie. You will not have to do what you did in those circumstances. 
in that last battle, recovered from my feelings. Golan, allow me to refer my gratitude. I swear that we will pay you another favor someday. Just do what needs to be done. Nothing for you to worry about. So we happen to be in the right place at the right time. That's all. I don't know if this is my place to say so, Sir Knight of the Sun, but I thought your fighting in the last battle was amazing. Coming from the enemy, that's rare. And I, so, I could not see the tides of war. I don't have a single thing for you to be ashamed of. Or Karna. Hmm. Oh no, well, the air was in the sink. What's this? All of you are getting on the wrong floor. You leave the metal emperor out of the cold? Uh, someone just the final opportunity. I'm going to partake in my mind. I'm just guessing that. My friend's more. I post more. Uh, my Martin of the vicious battle as well. Uh, Nero, by the way, so good not to say the words until you start that discussion. Is everything alright? Yeah, what's up with that? Okay, he doesn't talk much. Jester, I trust you have no objection to me calling you that. Since you are no longer a queen, regarding the blue, I don't think you even really noticed. Everyone knows. He doesn't talk at all. He has been like this since the beginning. Yeah, he doesn't talk. He just roars. Huh? Wait, you've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> I'm very light. The lightning general. The imperial brave reaper. And he resolved like an immobile off man. The common each other, that's nice. Oh yes, if I recall correctly, so assassin, you are from the same hometown as Lulu. Do you want to be a fan of his, of his life? His in life? Not exactly a fan. But they are similar. Of course. Oh yes, they are. And it was Finn, the father of Wushu, who knows his name. The bow, the spear, horse, Lulu affects him. There's such a force to all of them. Fengsha. Fengsha. The treachery is just legendary. <laughs> a queen who enlists a great general of the land is either destined for greatness and herself or a great fool. <laughs> hey. Next time, don't wait so long to tell me something like that. <laughs> you, did you intend to betray me all along? No. Right, this is getting out of hand. Hey boss, let's wrap this up. We have some tough enemies to fight. Yeah. Any closing statements? So, what's your plan? His eyes are sharp. His gaze has a certain sort of pressure to it. It makes me think of the red spear he wields. I am about as capable of breaking his gaze as I am dodging a spear. No one could tear their eyes away from me. Uh -huh. Somehow I endure the pressure. Personally, I couldn't care less if someone looks down on me. After all, the wizard Hakano Kishinao isn't exactly anything special, but... As Saber's master, I can't let anyone think any less of me. And ne Katamo's ma master as well. Saber places her trust in me, even though I'm so ordinary. She says I'm the master worth putting her life on the line for. And so I owe it, owe it to her to live up to her lofty expectations. No matter what kind of heroic spirits are gathered here, I can't let them see the fear in my eyes. Yeah, that's right. Even if you want to negotiate with the boss and the enemy troops, you gotta get around their defenses first. Now, don't we? Yes. I mean, it's first to try. Hearken to me, powerful warriors who have assembled in the name of the Empire. My Empire. I mean, my Christian. Gumbo Star, it stretches its creeping tendrils towards the earth. My prayers and I shall fight this evil star that plots to consume the moon and earth alike. Wise words. For now as victors of the Holy Real War, and now as bearers of the moon's real authority, but as ones who call Seraph from home. And forgive us. While this is a fight to save the world, my faith and I plan to annihilate our enemy for another reason. Hmm. 
Why the reason would that be? Alright. This is also a fight to save a single maiden. To save Altera from her fate. Personal mission for us. If you cannot accept such a thing, fine. And if you must leave, so be it. I will neither question you nor beg you to stay. That's right. But if your hero spirit shines bright, I implore you to stand by my side. Our battles, our glorious exploits shall inspire thunderous applause. I can't imagine there's anyone who wouldn't leave after everything that's happened so far. Well, it seems like Mr. is ready for a nap. Mr. Mafrafa, I take the home base and I leave my husband's return. Does that suit you, Mr. Kana, Miss Ryder? I have no complaints. A sensible decision. I think protecting the throne is just as important as protecting the old throne in the Millennium Capital. Even if it is not as powerful as the regality itself, looks like it contains a number of important functions to aid in controlling our territory. Chester, yes. I'll leave it up to you. My long standing rival to support me. Inspire confidence in my mind. And a warmth in my bosom. Don't mention bosom, please. Don't go crying over every little thing. Our relationship is purely given and take. So don't, feel, don't feel like you owe me anything. Please leave the defenses of our empire to me. I wish you a safe return, my dearest. I make haste, my math creator. Aim for the ancient shrine ahead. Area. It's the beginning of our fiery expedition toward the glorious victory. And meeting adjourned. Independent action. Sometime later, I'm sitting in my room. In the sleeper's room. I wake up, and Nero's there. I've been so tired. In a way. I caught you sleeping. Yes, you do. No wonder. First we found the Millennium Capital. Then a great council meeting, with no rest at all in between. Of course you would be tired in the bone, to the bone. Still looking dressed the moment you enter my room. Drowsy? Wait, how long was I asleep for? I don't feel like I hit the seats at all, but I must have slept if Saber says so. You're not aware of your nap? I understand why, considering you were unconscious in the entire time. Unconscious, eh? Be sure, only I know what kind of face you are making. If those sleep took hold from inside of you, only I, an observer on the outside, are aware of what happened. It's curious now I think of it. I got it. But do not worry me, my praetor. This is from the finest instrument ever forged. I will never leave you alone. Aw, thanks, Nero. Never let you go alone again. And if I wish that you would return the favor. I am again the world's finest instrument. Then I dare countless villains who would do you harm and steal me away. I have no intention of letting that happen. You belong to here and now, here on the moon. But that puts me on the spot. What do I even say at a time like this? Don't worry, leave that to me. I said it would be best if I let my actions speak for themselves. Yes, that's the best plan. Oh, I get it. Since she took my hand to comfort me, I should hold her hand too, or something like that. 
I'm good. Oh, what, what are you doing? Say something. What are you doing? The you of the mind. You of the mind. I'm an invincible. Maybe this is my soul talking. I can understand the sort of aggressive behavior. As the mind is where one's passions dwell. But. I have marriage with the soul already. Could this be what Casta means there when, when she. Maybe. Speaks of your handsome soul. I'm only assuming that when your sounds could be so sensual. No, this is not good, this is not good at all. My favorite eye, huh? Wait, what? What's wrong? Hmm? All I did was take your hand. So how did we get here? I think she's gonna lose. She's gonna go a little ballistic here. I told you to run. So you must accept responsibility for cheers and this day. Is Sammy? Oh, you mean Tamo's here? Is she here now? Sammy. I can no longer stop myself. Oh, that's what she meant for her. Oh, the deep feeling did not end. Her urges are getting out of con- are, are boiling over, I take it. Now it's me. Everything that is about to occur. None of this is a dream. Do you remember it as a dream? Now I'm done with this. Do you understand me, my master? Um, no, I have no idea what Saber is talking about. Well, I feel like I have an inkling, but hold on, just hold on for a second. Calm down, not wishing into things is the key to victory, Saber. <laughs> Look at me with those eyes. <laughs> so you truly. <laughs> and I pretend never to treat my Santa Fe to mouth my nerves. My I'll save it all to me. Pressure eyes need everything in my hand. I took out my eyes as well. Oh, a kiss scene coming up. A uh, tiny romantic moment is okay. Yes? Hmm. This is your time? Aww, oh, kiss! Yay! Maybe the name there would be a sweet. And I can only describe she reserves to come fresh. Pressing them into rows. Probably nobody uh, walks in at this moment. How sweet. I don't know if someone has seen happen like this in the side story. Probably not. I think they're beautiful. Cherry blossom or peach might be closer to them in color. I still think roses are the best metaphor. They also make the best backdrop with their petals and, and their petals are flung behind her. And their first kiss and Yeti action. I have that thought faintly in the corner of my mind. It's like the back of my head is paralyzed. Like I don't know how to take all of this in. Let's give her a kiss back. In the middle of my room, where the cool morning air we wafts through, we draw closer for the second. Oh, we're about to kiss. This is the epic kiss. And then Tom walks in. Where my husband? Preparation for your morning. I said, what the hell do you think you're doing, sir? Dare to tell you around dying. Get off. What are you? Get away. Right this is it. And Jelsey's up to him. Dare to around dying. How do you alone? One day, is what you get up to? What's your son, my husband? You're going to talk. You're going to do the same thing. Now I see the true nature of the Emperor, Miss Saber. You're going to talk. You're going to do the same thing. I know you're queen. The only way you're in the upright is probably... That's the only reason I held back my tears and all my tears to come in here with you. What have you done? Instead of using a recovery function, you're about to drain all my husband's vitality. I'm all for use of this room. <laughs> to be sure, I would have difficulty recovering. I wouldn't would have had difficulty recovering from this. Yes, she's right. She's completely right. The whole point of the reversing of my room was to recover my strength. Her face burns in the burst mode for the sun. This, oh, I cannot understand. I understand it. Impossibly fun. The action of the fallen one. Or the action of the fallen one. The end of your old man backstabbing. 
Is it really? In the video? Look at this, come on! It's like, it's like Nero beat you to the punch and almost beat you to the punch, Tom, though. Mm -hmm. Why do you stop him with the act on Imperial Romance? And they're bickering like cats. And how dare you question the wrong way? I don't doubt you did the same in your own precious capital with your own husband, in fact. In fact, I know for a fact. <laughs> this is so stupid. I didn't say it, Kassa. But now you want you to pressure the soul of the creator. Some orient to a fantasy. No, I, um... Yeah, she do was. Oh, that's beautiful. The handsome soul guy under one roof. Well, sometimes that kind of opportunity sometimes presents itself. Presents itself, my ass. Maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't. Oh, right. Indiscreet, aren't we? I knew it! <laughs> and tears piss. I plan has been to see the battle upon every single awakening. We haven't had a moment of peace, too. It's not fair. So you had no right to interrupt that moment. <laughs> Excuse me. You have, a, you have the gall to say it's not fair. Especially considering that I'm now short one husband. I'm a, there's no cheating along. Is that what now we agreed? No beating each other to the punch? Really? That's where. Wait. I have the imperial privilege. How about that? Sure you do. Isn't that a skill of yours? And that's a useful one at that. This is getting out old. Don't I understand this? I don't know what it is, but... As I sit here watching Saber and Caster the human... How does the human exchange? I get a very specific feeling in the back of my heart. Love, or is it... It's different from worrying about the outcome of the fight. It's something much more calm and peaceful. A yep, it's love. The sight and sound of the two of them, their whirling expressions as they sling words back and forth. This is how they process things. All of it is incredibly nostalgic. Ah, uh, nostalgia, that's it. I realize now that I'm right where I ought to be. I don't have any all my memories back yet. I can't even recall the details of the Moon's Holy Real War by myself. Even those two per those two thirds of my cyber frame have consolidated. I'm still something complete. But even despite that, <clears throat> I've come home to the place where I belong, right between these two. I'm home. That's the only decision, just my master, Rita. Yes, Madison. They're confused. <laughs> and so I Oh, no talk scene? That's that's rare. Oh, they got me. Mr. Code has been added to the craft. Maybe I could try normal mode? I guess there's nothing for us to talk about. And uh, let's see if I can ch change the outfit again. Well, let's go back to the default outfit for now. Maybe I could try no more, but then I'd probably get killed. Treasure times two, but then I won't be able to summon a servant. Let's see how I'm equipped. I think I'm all 